Good morning, friends. Today, I just wanted to take this opportunity to share with you how you could have a little prayer table or a prayer shelf in your own house and how you can pray together as a family. I know you're probably already doing this, but it's fun to see what other people are doing and it might enrich your prayer life together as a family. So here's my little prayer shelf that I have set up by a window and you see I have the Bible. Whoops, this is a little bit disconcerting here. I have the Bible and I wanted to tell you about my Bible. This is my Bible that I got in third grade and you can see how well loved it is. It's been through a flood and it's dried out and I have many things marked in my Bible. Then I have a statue here of the Good Shepherd. Uh, there he is. This Good Shepherd came from Rwanda when I went there on a mission trip. But you might have a cross or a picture or a painting or a drawing, something that reminds you of Jesus. And then, of course, I have the flowers from my garden, and they remind us of the creation that God made the world. I have a candle, which I'm going to light in a moment for you. And I have a prayer card that says Alleluia for this time of Easter that we're in now when we say our Alleluias. And I have a Bible verse card, which is the Bible verse that I chose to have on my prayer table lately. Pray continually. Okay, so I'm going to set up my camera here and let us light the candle and just have a little prayer time together. Let us sing the light of Christ. The light of Christ has come into the world. The light of Christ has come into the world. And I'll read to you from the Bible. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse 17, starting with verse 16. Rejoice always. Pray constantly. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And I think it's so important that we remember these things. It's He's really telling us three things. Rejoice, pray, and give thanks. So that's what we're going to do today, okay? So that's where I got my little Bible verse card. Pray continually, which means pray constantly. Pray all the time. When can you pray? Of course, you can pray when you first wake up in the morning. Thank you, God, for this new day. You can pray over every meal together. Thank you for this food. You can pray together as a family when you gather to read the Bible. You can pray at night before you go to bed. God bless me. God bless this night. And you know what? Just having this little prayer table set up in my home helps me just to remember when I see it there to remember. Just ask God to be with you always. And that is a prayer. Um, so giving thanks is one of, for me, the most natural ways to pray. And so I have a little song, of course. I have a song that goes with everything. And you probably know this song. I actually learned it on my mission trip with the missionaries, missionaries of charity in, in Africa. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. And then you can just think, what am I thankful for today? You know what? 
It's not a sunny morning, but I'm thankful that maybe it's going to rain today because I planted my garden and my garden needs the moisture from the rain. So let's just put rain in the song. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain from my heart. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain from my heart. And you can just go on thanking God for everything that you're thankful for. And then when we pray, we can also ask God. We can ask God for help. Oh, Lord, send us help today, Lord. Help us to be kind to one another. Help us to enjoy your creation and all the gifts you've given us. Help us, Lord, <clears throat> with all the things that we need. Just tell God about what you need, and you will find that God helps you. And then, of course, we sing Alleluia, right? Alleluia. And we have a sign language that goes with that. It's Alleluia. 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 Amen. 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 Alleluia. Amen. 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 So this is just a little sample of how you can have prayer time in your own home. And it helps so much to have a place, a place to gather for your prayer and a place that reminds you of God's holy word and of Jesus and of the light and of the creation. Maybe if you set up a prayer table in your house, you could take a picture of it and post it on our Messiah Facebook page. That would be so much fun to share. Okay, so have a blessed day, a God-filled day full of peace and joy. Bye-bye.